Are you ready to go on a journey? What is cracking, everybody? It's your boy Titans with another album review. This time, James Blake and Little Yachty collaborated to come up with Bad Cameo. With such an unorthodox collaboration, you wouldn't be in the wrong to think, how the hell is this going to work? But honestly, it doesn't disappoint. Yachty, fresh off his psychedelic rock trip on Let's Start Here, and James Blake, who has gone from trap music and dubstep into more contemporary but hip-hop leaning sounds, collaborate here to take you on a journey. Admittedly, I'm not the biggest Lil Yachty fan. Uh, I really haven't been. I'm not too much into his rapping styles. But I did really, really enjoy Let's Start Here. In fact, it was on my summer, summer Vibes playlist from a year or so ago. So I thought I'd check it out. And to be honest with you, it didn't really disappoint. So kicking things off with Save the Savior, there's a massive gong sounding distorted bell throughout the opening of the track. And then there's this heavy reverb bass and it just rocks you and kicks you in the face as Yachty says, who's going to save the savior? Who's going to save the savior? <laughs> now, I probably sound as bad as he does, but to be honest with you, I was really feeling this opening track. I do like the themes of supporting the ones that you idolize or saving the savior because he's talking about the stresses of his life, the stresses of fame, and then James Blake comes in and croony as ever, he sounds fantastic. This beat really sets the tone for the rest of the album. And then we move into In Grey, which to my ears sounds a lot like uh, Interstellar meets Close Encounters with a lot of astral twinkling. It's truly an epic soundscape, which a lot of the influence of the Pink Floyd uh, and other psychedelic rock that was on Yachty's last album, I think comes into play on this one as well. On the song Midnight, Yachty is absolutely crooning. I love that one as well. There isn't too much in the way of substance of what he's saying, but really the beats, and I think James Blake is what's carrying a lot of this album. Woo is definitely the most hip-hop sounding track on the album thus far. I really like the Doppler reverb sounding effect that James Blake employs. It is a very driving song that will get you up and moving and kind of brings you back into that hip-hop soundscape where the rest, the earlier part of the album was very ethereal and crazy space sounding. Bad Cameo is the namesake song, and really I think James Blake and Yachty kill this one. Again, the sounds is really what carries it, but they are talking about some interesting things like the two different worlds that they're coming from, clashing and combining to really create the sounds that you're hearing and the subject matter of the album. Missing Man, this one gets stuck in my head just because of the way that Yachty sounds. Missing Man. <laughs> um, I really like this song. I think the message is fairly powerful as well. It's, it's talking about neglecting your family and friends in the pursuit of fame and all the ways that people reach out to you, but you're curving them or you're missing them either through non-responsive text messages, voicemails, things like that. So you do become that missing man, but it's all in the pursuit of what, you're, what you love, what you're looking to do. Then we get to Twice. Now, Twice is definitely the most hip-hop track on the whole album. I love the chant. It's a very, hey, 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 type of chant. The, the bass line really drives this one, and then James Blake comes in and demolishes his part. Then we have a really nice little beat switch, and there is a spoken word portion that I really don't particularly like on, on any track, actually. It takes you out of the soundscape. It takes you out of the headspace. I do like when Yachty says... Uh, what they do isn't going to be for public knowledge. This ain't film. I do like that part, but as a whole, that song is so good. And then that spoken word part comes in and really just breaks the immersion and the feeling of the whole track. Then we get to Transport Me, which goes back to the ethereal sounds. This one, again, as the title implies, really does transport you. This one takes you for an absolute journey. And Yachty is spitting. I won't get into every detail, but suffice it to say that Santa Claus bar is fire. 
This one is the longest track on the album. And like I mentioned, it truly does transport you. And that's what a lot of feedback online was saying as well. This is probably most people's favorite song. And I really like the heavily distorted warble on the vocals at the very end that James Blake employs. As we round out the album, we get to Runaway Rabbit. Now this one, I believe, my interpretation at least, is the rabbit would be distraction or fame. And both Yachty and Blake are talking about running away from that or avoiding that. Uh, again, a really nice soundscape that's laid down with the astral chimes and the driving bass line. I really like this one. Leading into the final track on the album, Red Carpet. Um, heavily distortion, heavily distorted with a lot of vocal chants. Again, there's not a lot of substance, at least from my few listens on this, but for the majority, you're here for James, and I think probably some bars here and there from Yachty, but definitely the, the experience or the sounds that you're expecting to go into. So from a review perspective, as a whole, I'd probably give it a seven. Um, from a sound and musical perspective, it's probably an eight. I really, really enjoyed it. I liked a lot of what James Blake contributed here. I'd say it's probably 60-40 uh, with Yachty to Blake, but Blake was on the production with Yachty on a few tracks as well. Um, but from a, a lyrical perspective, it's, it's down there. It's probably like a five or a six. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get all the newest alerts. Share it with your friends. M's up next, guys. Drop in tomorrow, actually. I'm recording this on a Thursday. And then next week, we've got Denzel Curry and Gambino. So lots to look forward to. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a minute of it. And I'll talk to you on the next one.